to the Andy Griffith Show, Facts and Trivia. I appreciate you being here. Um, before we get started, I ask you to please subscribe. And I, honestly, I thought I've done this one before, but I looked back and I cannot find it if I have. So, and I think she's a very interesting lady. So this is, uh, this episode is on uh, what you may or may not know about Francis Bavier. Um, go through a few things here. Um, she had a, uh, there was a, a thing about her on the Andy Griffith show acting in it as, um, she was difficult to work with. Um, some say yes, some say no. Uh, but she did have this one where, she, uh, Howard Morris, who played Ernest T. Bass, was the director in her quote, um, nobody will move me. I'm not a dining room table. I'm not a sofa and I'm not a rug. How dare you? That was her reaction uh, to uh, Howard Morris trying to rearrange the set. Um, she performed in the live action uh, reference footage for Walt Disney Sleeping Beauty in 1959. Um, as I said, despite her good hearted image on screen, uh, Cast members of the Andy Griffith show often remember her as difficult and temperamental and somewhat cold. Uh, Griffith himself said there was just something about me she did not like. Um, she bought her Siler City home uh, sight unseen after falling in love with the beauty of North Carolina. She said, I like a child came here looking for a fairyland, she once said. Um... Sadly, when she retired in 1972, she quickly became a recluse in her two-story Siler City, North Carolina home. She rarely left the house. She left most of her $700,000 estate to a hospital foundation. The home in which she lived in for 17 years was poorly upheld upon her death, nearly irreparable from damage caused by her 14 house cats. Um, after moving to North Carolina upon her retirement, she was initially named Honorary Chairman of the Christmas Seal Drive for the Mid-State Tuberculosis and Respiratory Disease Association and was appointed Chairman of the 1973 Easter Seals Campaign for the North Central Chapter of the State Easter Seal Society. As time passed, however, Bavier found herself overwhelmed by demands for her services and retreated forever. Uh, in an interview, when director Ron Howard was pressed as to the stories of discord with her on the set of The Andy Griffith Show, all he would say is, uh, I just don't think she enjoyed being around children that much. Her ex-husband, Russell Carpenter, was in the military. They divorced after five years due to conflicting career ambitions. Um... I've got one more thing here. Um, if I can find it. She, uh, additionally, besides leaving uh, this, the bulk of her inheritance, uh, she also left a trust, a $100,000 trust fund for the police force in Siler City, North Carolina. The interest of the trust provides a Christmas bonus every year for the police personnel. Now, I don't want you all thinking that I've done this as a negative way because i this is all that's out there. I don't believe she was that bad a woman. I really don't. That bad a woman would not have done the things that she did for the Easter Seals and leaving money for uh, the police of uh, Siler City. I believe she was probably a good woman. She just uh, different from, you know, the, the Hollywood set. Her, you know, she grew up in one generation. They grew up in another. So uh, I did think it was funny that one time, uh, George Lindsay was telling an off-collar joke, and she whopped him with her with her umbrella. <laughs> but, like I say, different generations. So, uh, someone had uh, commented on Bavier about this type of stuff, and, and I just wanted to clear clear it up. And, and uh, Let me know what you think. Have you heard anything uh, about her that, uh, that I didn't bring up here? Appreciate you being here. Uh, again, please subscribe. We'll be uh, back tomorrow. Have a great day and God bless. Mm -hmm.